Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to Trick or Treat Week. <laughs> we are doing a Trick or Treat Week as it's Halloween. Well, actually next Monday, but we're prolonging it and doing the whole week of trick or treat. And of course, next Monday, we'll still do Halloween themed classes um, in our group. So I really hope you're well. This is my kind of first proper session back um, from last Tuesday, I think it was. Obviously, I'm still very much positive with COVID, which is really annoying. Good morning, Ro. Um, but feeling a lot, lot better than I was. So fingers crossed, you know, I'm on the road to recovery. Gang, this is broomstick fitness Pilates, but actually I'm going to be doing it with the end of my mop. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, Oriel. Yeah, feeling much better, although I did a test this morning and I'm still very positive with COVID, which is so annoying. Um, I've got a few cold sores on my lip and I still feel really nasally, but actually I just feel like I've got a real heavy cold now, which uh, I can absolutely deal with. Good morning, Nick. Ah, uh, thank you. Thanks, gang. So you just need something that you can use as a bit of a, a pole. So obviously if you've got a broomstick, brill. If you haven't got a broomstick and you want to use like me, like the pole here, at the end of your mop, anything that you can use. You could also even use a um, barbell uh, pole if you wanted to. The beauty with this one is I can actually make it adjustable. So I can make it smaller and I can make it bigger, which might be helpful um, for this class. Because if you don't want to use it so long when we come down to the floor, um, if you've got an adjustable, that would be absolutely great. Oh, thanks, Nick. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm blagging it really well at the moment. Blagging. <laughs> Lots of makeup. My nose, though, swelled up across here, the bridge of my nose really swollen um, and I couldn't put my glasses on. It was really, really weird how, how much that had swollen up. But uh, hopefully that's going down now. So uh, it feels, feels a lot better. But yeah, annoying that I'm, I was really hoping that my COVID test this morning was going to be a real faint line, but it wasn't. It was a real still strong line. I was like, Argh. I've got cabin fever. I need to, need to, needed to go now. <laughs> okay, gang. So we're going to be using mind and body beat deep work for our music which is just in the background hopefully that sounds okay i'm going to be using our broomstick right from the get-go so gang we're going to start with our feet together turn them out the toes out to the corners of the room realign your heels with your toes evenly distribute your weight between your right and your left foot and I want you to then track up through the body, tension in the muscles, not the joints. Bring your pelvis into your neutral, light squeeze on the bottom. You're going to bring your shoulders up and back. We're going to bring that broomstick up shoulder height. Squeeze the shoulders and then lower. So we're going to start this slow and then I'm going to pick it up. So we're going to squeeze and retract our shoulder blades and then lower down. This could be done with a band as well. Let me show you from a side profile. So I'm going to come up, squeeze and retract, and then lower. Okay, I'm starting to pick up the speed. So we're going up, squeeze, back and down. Squeeze and retract. Well done. Lift. Good work. One more time. Lift. Well done. From here, roll your shoulders up and back. Now we're going to place that broomstick into our left hand. Use it as a little bit of a prop. Starting with your right arm, and I'm going to circle out. Opening up the shoulder. Be aware of how that feels. Well done. And then reach back. Open up the chest. You can move that broomstick further forward if that feels better for you to get that retraction. Two more. Now, place the broomstick to the side. We're coming over and we're going to reach to it. Open up the side body. Give me four. 
three, well done. Two, one, bring it back to center, roll the shoulders. One more time and then place that into our right hand. Left arm is gonna rotate here. Open up the chest and I don't wanna knock down my bunting that I put up this morning. <laughs> which you know I always have a habit of doing. Good work. Okay, bring that forward. We're going to reach back. Open up the chest. Having a little look back behind you. Four more. Three. Two. Okay, move your broomstick to the side and we're going to reach over. Open up the side body. Well done. Stretch through the waist. Four more. Three. Last two. Last one. Bring it back to center. Roll your shoulders. Loosen up here. Good work. So we're going to come up with the pole. Lift up into the toes. Back down into the heels. Left. So this is option one. Just coming up to shoulder height. Option two, bring that all the way up. Watch your light fittings if you've got low ceilings. Lift and lower. Well done. Lift and lower. Heels down. Come to the side. Reach open. Well done. Give me four more. Three, two. One, place that pole again into your left side. Right knee is going to come up, open, back and down. Let's stay with that. Lift. Move at your own pace, your own tempo. Good work. Lift. Open. One more. Lift. We're going to brush that leg. Forward and back. I want you to squeeze the muscles in the bottom as you go back. Now, instead of brushing forward, can you lift the knee and then squeeze? Pull up tall. Try not to sink into that side. Now, lift the knee and brush to the side. Good work. Open up that hip. Really nice. Give me four more. Three. Last two. Last one, change sides, lift, open, back and down, lift. That's it, so work into that hip. This pole helps to keep you just nice and stable here. Now brush forward and back. So it acts as a little bit of a balance aid, which can be really beneficial. Let's change the brush to a knee and squeeze. Good work. Knee up, brush to the side. Well done. Nice and strong. Four more. Three. Here's two. One. Release. Take the legs wide. Take the pole and you're going to lunge side to side. Little rock here. Good work. Give me four. Three, two, you're going to stay on your right side, hold here. Now change that so that you are going to just turn your foot and then change the hands over. So take it with your right hand, reach over with your left. Beautiful. Come to centre, turn the feet and then turn the other side. Left hand holds the pole. And we're going to reach. Great work. Release from here. Now, gang, if you need to, you can make, if you've got an adjustable pole, make it smaller. You're going to come to the back of your mat. We're going to take our roll down. So we're going to inhale, lift. Exhale and roll. Drop down, chin to chest. Option one, place the pole on the thighs and then create your flat back. Inhale, exhale, and then rise when you're ready. Lift. Option two. Roll down to the floor. 
Bend the knees, see how it feels, and then rise. Rolling up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale. Exhale. So choose what feels good for you. Stretch that back. Well done. Lift and then roll. Gang, we're going to do one more. So just go to the level that feels good. Either halfway or all the way. You choose. Perfect. And then from here, we're going to bring ourselves down to the floor. Just move the pole out of the way. Hands forward, feet back, bend the knee. And then change when you're ready. Good work. Allow the back of the legs to lengthen. That's it. And then hold both legs straight. Perfect. We're going to bring the knees to the floor. I want you to lift through your spine and then release. So lift up and then let it release. Good work. So allow that back just to stretch. Perfect. Okay, gang. So I'm going to take that pole back behind me and we're going to start to engage through the back. So I'm going to lay myself down flat, but I can, you can do this kneeling as well. And I will show you. Have the legs as wide as you want. We're going to come up and retract back and lower. Lift and squeeze. And like I said, this could be done with a band in the hands, but keep the tension on it. I want you to pull those shoulders back, squeeze. You're moving your pole from your lower back past your bottom and extending those arms. So if it doesn't feel good for you to lay down, come into your kneeling position, pelvis in neutral, and then squeeze and retract back. So you're getting this real strong engagement into your shoulder blades. Even if you're kneeling, take a little bit of a baby back bend, bringing that through, squeeze and pull. Open up your chest. Really nice. Now gang, you can stay with this if you want to. Otherwise, come up and hold. Now pulse. Hands back. And again, if you're laying down on the floor, you're going to hold up into your back extension, squeeze the muscles in the bottom, and you're lifting here. Shoulders away from the ears. Eight, seven, six seconds, five, keep it going, four more, three, two, one, and release. Well done. Good work. Give your back a stretch. Perfect. So that was really strong for our upper back, lower back, back of the arms in there. Okay, we're going to use that pole again in the hands. Sit comfortable for you. Lift, retract, roll back, just as far as go. If you want to come all the way down in the floor, do it. Inhale, exhale, and then rise. Squeeze and retract those shoulders. Inhale, exhale, lower. Bringing it back. If you don't want to come all the way down in the floor, you absolutely don't have to. You choose. So we could come just to the halfway spot. Inhale, exhale. And then lift. If you need to move your feet, feel free. They can be as far away as you want. You can have your legs bent or straight. You choose. Shoulders away from the ears. Tucking the pelvis under. Good work. Okay, so I'm going to change this slightly. If you're coming all the way down into the floor, I want you to join me on the halfway. Inhale, exhale. You're going to come halfway. Move the pole to the right and left. 
and then bring that up. Did you see that? Inhale, exhale. So you're going to come halfway. Little broomstick twist. And then rise. Inhale, exhale, lower. Tuck under. Here we go. So maybe you want to do four like me. Maybe you want to only do two. Maybe you want to do more. Maybe you want to do eight or ten. You can choose. Inhale, exhale, roll down. Holding strong. And then lift. We're going to do one more. Inhale, exhale. Perfect. Take a little bit of a release. You're coming down to the floor. So gang, as you lay here, find your neutral spine. If you need something behind your head, absolutely grab it. Maybe a pillow, maybe a cushion, you choose. Take a broomstick up and take it in line with your chest. Legs lifted. Relax the shoulders. So all of this could be done with a band. Yeah, absolutely all of it could be done with a band. You choose. Knees over your hip bones and we're going to tap down. So gang, this is option one. Just keeping that pulse still. Drawing your shoulder blades down into the ground and taking your tap down, either with your toe or your heel, you choose. Option two, start to move the arms as well. Into an arm pullover. Squeezing and retracting those shoulders. Taking it back. Now I'm moving quite quick, so if you want to move so fast, feel free to slow it down. Good work. But I am going to slow it down now. Stay on one side. We're going to tap. One, two, three, and lift. Change side. One, two, three, and lift. Go. One, two, three, and lift. One, two. So my leg is moving further along my mat with those three taps. So the third tap is further away than the first. And I'm doing the same count with my arms and that broomstick. There, tap, tap and press. Good work. Try not to let the supporting knee come in too close. Keep it away, press. One more. Good work. Okay, place your broomstick on your thighs. Now create a little bit of resistance here. Nice and strong through the abdominals. You're going to press onto there. Feel that tension. Have you got it? You're going to move your right leg only. Stretch away. Hold. Push against that pole with your hands. Feel that deep resistance. Eight seconds. Four, three, two. Bring it back. Change legs. Push against the pole. Leg pushes against the pole as well. You've got that 50-50% resistance. Stay strong. Four, three, two. Change sides again. Really push. Can you feel that? You should feel, get that abdominal pressure here that you're really controlling. As you push against the pole, pole pushes against, leg pushes against the pole as well. Change sides. No change in the back. Now, this would be hard to try and create with a band, actually. You almost need something that's not flexible, that's not going to move. Well done. And then release. Good work. Take a little bit of a breather into your back. Fantastic work. Bring that pole back up chest tight, legs over here. And we're going to take a single knee drop. So we've got this single knee drop. We exhale to the side, open up the pelvis, staying nice and strong. Well done. Now, gang, again, if you want to, the arms can go back or you can just 
Hold them still. Up the chest. The other knee stays over the hip bone. Give me eight, seven, six. How's that feeling? Bit of coordination for you on a Monday morning. Last two. Last one. Okay, from here. Balance the pole onto your shins. Relax your arms for a moment. Press that away. Feel that abdominal pressure, keeping the legs in that position. So your shins are parallel to the ceiling. Now bring your arms up into a pec deck position. Forearms face your face. You're gonna open, close. See if you can take your legs away just a fraction of an inch with your broomstick across your shins. Stay strong. Eight, seven, six, five. How's it feeling? Four more. Three, two, one. Release. Woo! Good work. I know your thighs would have felt that. So let's peel up into shoulder bridge. Open up through the hips. Open up through the pelvis. Squeeze the muscles in the bottom and stay here. Okay, now with that broomstick, we're going to take it back. Bring it down. So we're staying up in our shoulder bridge position. And our broomstick goes back behind us. Open that chest. Well done. Big squeeze on the bottom. We're going to take the broomstick back, hold it back just a fraction of an inch off the floor so you've not let your hands touch the floor. Stay there. Now realign through your feet so you've got an equal balance between your right and your left foot. Lift one leg off the floor. Flex that foot if you wish. Squeeze the bottom a little stronger. We release and then change sides. Push up through the pelvis. You're doing great. Let's change that over again. So we lift and stabilize. What I want you to think of, gang, is your pelvis. Keep it level. You're not tilting or twisting. Lower. So what I've done with your arms, we're holding this broomstick back behind you, but not letting them crash onto the floor, is we've taken our stability away. So that where you're stabilizing here is coming through your shoulders, and this supporting leg. So when we're thinking about centering, the centering is coming through the shoulders and one foot. Inhale, exhale, press. I'm gonna do one more. Bring the arms back to shoulder height and we're gonna squeeze and release. So glute squeeze here. Work through the biggest range of movement that you can. As high and as low as you can go in one contraction. Squeezing the highest portion of your thighs with the lowest portion of your bottom in the back of your body. Make that indentation there. Now, if your pole or broomstick is a little bit heavy, like say for instance, you're using like a body bar, from here, we can add a chest press at the same time. So when you lift that bar up, you lift your hips up at the same time. So getting a little bit of posterior and anterior chain working together. Really well done. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two, one, lower down the back. Well done. Just move that broomstick out of your way. Hug your knees to your chest and take a little bit of a breather. Absolutely fantastic. Really good. So I want to create a little bit more strength through the abdominals. And again, we're going to be using this 
and we're going to use on one side. So again, come up to your tabletop. <clears throat> I want you to push against the pole and extend the other leg away. And while we're here, we're going to beat this other arm. So we beat eight, seven, six, five, four, three, turn the hand over, keep beating. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, turn the hand back over, take the pole up to shoulder height, straight up to the ceiling. Four, three, two, turn the hand over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep beating, turn the hand back over, take the pole back above the head. Four, three, two, turn the hand over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Well done. Woo, good work. We've got to do that on the other side. So we start, hand onto the pole, pushing against the leg, leg pushing back at the same time. Up in tabletop, extend that leg. Pressing down. Strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Turn the hand over, palm up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep the beat going. Turn the palm back. Bring the pole up to the ceiling. Four, three, two. Turn the palm over. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take the pole back behind the head. Turn the palm down. Stay strong. Four, three, two. Turn the hand over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And release. Well done. Good work. Hug your knees in. Take that little breather in your back. Put the pole to your side. Let's rotate round on our lower back. Massage our lower spine and go round the other way when you're ready. Uncross the feet if you wish. Cross them the other way and do your rotations again. Loosen up. Make sure you go round in both ways. We're going to take the knees over to one side. Let that hand drop. Shoulder drop down. Let your back release. We relax and change sides. Well done. Lot of abdominal work today. Take a full body stretch. Take the hands behind your head. Inhale, exhale, lift the head, chin to chest, look to the feet. Lower down when you're ready. We're going to lift the head up and look under one arm. Lower down and change sides when you're ready. Perfect. Bring it back to centre. Good work. Grab your pole. We're going to place our right foot on it. And I want you to stretch here just as far as that feels good for you. Little bend and straighten. And then hold it straight when you're ready. Feel free to extend the other leg down to the floor if you wish, or you can keep that leg bent. Nice and gradually pull that in. Well done, we release, change sides. So again, we can bend and straighten. Feel that lovely release in the leg, deep stretch here with the pole. Well done, hold it, pull it in. So using the breath. Perfect, put that broomstick onto the back of the knees. 
I want you to pull your knees in just a little bit more. Let that lower back release for you. Well done. From here, coming up slow. Take your time, no rush. Placing that just to our right side, we're going to take that left arm over and stretch the waist. Inhale, exhale, release. Bring it forward. If you can take it over your toes, brilliant. If you can't, don't worry. Just hold here. And then coming over to the other side and reach. And obviously we can move that further away to get a deeper stretch. Bring it back to center and hold here. Well done. Bring yourself all the way around. I want you to slide that broomstick away. Open the knees as wide as you wish. Take the head down low. Take that over to the right. Both hands onto the broomstick, head down low. Now you can move your hands up the pole further to get a deeper stretch. Let your head drop further down. Change that over to the other side. So the higher the hands, the lower we can drop down into the chest, getting a deeper stretch. Bring it back to center. Well done, release from here. So again, we're gonna come into a calf stretch, take your hands on the floor. Lengthen out the back of the legs, bend one knee, feel the stretch in the other leg. Change sides when you wish. Hold both legs straight. And then bring that slowly back. We're going to roll up. Take our breath. Inhale. Exhale and we roll down. Again, we can stop halfway. Extend through the spine. So maybe while you're here... You'd like to extend those arms and then roll up. You choose. Roll all the way down to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Bend through the knees. Let that release for you. Inhale, exhale and rise. Roll the shoulders back. We're going to do one more. Inhale, exhale. Roll up slow. Perfect. And release the shoulders. Let that loosen off for you. If you have an extendable broomstick, just take it back lovely and long. Standing nice and tall again, we're going to take that right arm, lift up, and then open out to the side. Change the pole over to the left. And then lift the arm up. And then open out to the side. Change it back to the right. Stretch the abdominals. And then open here. One more time. Over to the left. Lift. Okay. Keep the pole in your left hand. From here, we're going to take that right leg back behind us. And we're going to stretch over. Reach the hands as far as you want. Let that release. Change sides. Bring that over, leg goes behind you, reach over, good work, take a little shoulder roll, one more roll down, inhale, exhale, roll all the way down, you're going to leave your broomstick down on the floor now, inhale, exhale and rise, roll the shoulders, pedal through your feet, loosen off, hopefully they feel okay, take a breath. As you exhale down, I want you to think about your posture. Bring your pelvis back into your neutral, feet underneath your hip bones, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, lift. As we exhale, we're gonna grow taller. 
lengthen our spine. Breathe that away. And one more time, inhale, lift. And exhale. And as you do it, gang, just think about how you feel now in comparison to the start of the session. Strong work there in the abdominals. Take the right arm up and the left. Right hand forward and the left. Right palm in and the left. Give yourselves and each other a super round of applause. I really hope you enjoyed that. Kicked off the week with our broomstick fitness pilates, but it could have been done with a band as well. But it's just great to have that little bit of focus, that little bit of resistance through the arms as we're working deep, deep, deep down into the abdominals. So any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for joining me. We are going to be doing our boo body weight and no kit conditioning at lunchtime today. I'll be doing a health talk all about carbs and why they are not the enemy. And then tonight we've got our hit, our haunted hit, which is Kelly versus Jason. Ah, oh, good stuff. I'm glad you enjoyed that gang. They were, the arm pulses with the extended leg were definitely, definitely tough for sure. Absolutely. I am sorry that you're in bed with flu. There's so many people with flu slash COVID at the moment. So get well, everybody. Uh, thanks so much, Oriel. Take care. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Ro. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. And I'll see you on a live. I'll catch up real soon.